6 o'clock. I'd like to call the meeting of the 23rd regular meeting of the 2018-2019 Common Council to order. Would the clerk please read the quote for the day? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Knowledge is power, community is strength, and positive, positive attitude is everything. Thank you. Would the clerk please call the roll? There are eight present. Alderperson uh, uh, Trey, uh, is, Trey Mitchell is uh, excused, and the other seat is vacant. Um, Next, I'd like to call up Sam Lindau. Sam is a scout at Grace Episcopal Church, Troop 801, and he's here tonight working on his government merit badge, and I'd like to ask him to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. So please stand. Thank you very much, Sam. Next is the approval of the minutes from our last city council meeting. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. Motion to uh, Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to uh, resignation. Uh, city Attorney. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. Make a motion to accept and file. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, next would be uh, Mayor's appointments. City Attorney. Thank you. Uh, there are uh, two appointments for 125 and 126. 125 is uh, appointment by the Mayor's and then following appointment for consideration. That'll lay over. 1.6 is uh, the following appointment for your consideration submitted by the mayor, Vicki Schneider, to be considered for appointment to the position of director of senior service. That'll also lay over. Next is a presentation on the 2019 State of the City Address. I'd like to call Administrator Daryl Hoffland up. Thank you, Mayor Vandersteen. Uh, I'd like to present to the council the 2019 State of the City Address. Appreciate <coughs> The presentation will identify 2018 achievements and plan 2019 goals. Both the achievement and goals are linked to the city's 2017-2021 strategic plan. The foundation for that strategic plan is its mission statement. The 2017-2021 strategic plan also includes a vision statement. The Common Council, which approved the strategic plan in December 2019, also identified six focus areas. Quality of life, infrastructure and public facilities, economic development, neighborhood revitalization, governing and fiscal management, and communication. The fir first focus area is quality of life. The goal for the focus area is uh, providing a safe and secure community, investing in recreation, libraries, open space, maximizing the natural environment, delivering transportation choices, elevating cultural, culture, arts, and education, ensuring sustainable and environmentally responsible solutions. Achievements in 2018 include uh, Shoreline Metro received an agreement with the Sheboygan Area School District to provide for free student ridership. As a result, ridership overall increased by 13% over the 2017 levels and was the highest in 16 years. She Sheboygan for All Livability Initiative was kicked off with the goal to develop an action plan in 2019. Zero fire deaths or serious injury to citizens or fire department personnel were experienced. Delivery of a million dollar replacement ladder truck to ensure proper fire department response to fire and rescue events. 
In 2019, <coughs> property crimes in Sheboygan continue to experience a decline. Over the past five years, crime has decreased by 35%. The goal for 2019 is to maintain or continue to reduce property crimes. In 2018, Sheboygan experienced violent crime levels consistent with similar levels experienced during the past five years. As part of a comprehensive community policing strategy, the police department has a comprehensive community outreach program. In 2018 alone, over 283 outreach events were held. The next focus area is infrastructure and public facilities. The goal is improving the quality of life by effectively developing, maintaining, and improving infrastructure, natural resources, and community services. In 2018, the city resurfaced or reconstructed 7.2 miles of streets. This is a 308% uh, increase over 2014 activity levels. Plan 2019 public works projects include reconstruct Pennsylvania Avenue Bridge, and improvements to Superior Avenue and North Avenue. In 2017, the Director of Public Works developed a 14-year plan for transportation improvement management. Every two years, all Wisconsin municipalities are required to rate their community's pavement surface quality. The Sheboygan pavement rating increased by 5% alone between 2015 and 2017. In light of significant street repair work performed in 2018, the 2019 rating is expected to improve further. In late 2018, the city commenced with a $10.5 million renovation project for the 102-year-old City Hall. Completion of the project is forecasted for June 2019. In late fall 2018, the Shaw Family Playground opened at Evergreen Park. Other infrastructure or public facility projects planned for 2019 are complete Fire Station 1 repair and renovations, identify the site for a future fire department training facility to replace existing facility at Fire Station 3, place into our Shoreline Metro fleet five new buses to replace 14-year-old vehicles, and install GPS tracking technology on all existing and new buses to allow riders to track bus locations. Another initiative for 2019 is to order replacement garbage and recycling trucks and consider the elimination of a bag collection system for a possible cart system to be implemented in 2020. Install a fiber optic cable from the WSCS studio to improve audio and visual quality of the signal to cable customers, including common council meetings. In 2019, the city will renovate the plaza which surrounds Mead Public Library creating a more direct route between 8th Avenue and the main library entrance door, as well as increased pedestrian safety for those who enter the library parking lot. Economic development is the third focus area. In 2018, the parking utility obtained approval to raise parking permits uh, and parking meter rates to help sustain maintenance of downtown public parking lots as well as public street spaces. Finalized development agreement with the developer Badger State Loft Departments, a $31 million historic renovation of the former Tannery property, which is located a block north of Indiana Avenue. Also in 2018, two additional apartment projects were initiated, Seven Penn and the Lux. In Sheboygan, prices of homes conti sold continue to be strong. Over the past two years of Wisconsin Department of Revenue information, which is 2016 and 2017, the city experienced significantly higher property sale prices. In 2016, overall increased values of residential properties were 6% higher, or $95 million overall for this category. In 2017, overall values for, of residential properties were 9%, or again, community-wide, $142 million of additional value. The city anticipates similar increases in home sale prices which occurred in 2018. In 2018, the city created three new TIF districts. TIF district number 17, which the boundaries are roughly 14th Avenue to Lake Michigan along Indiana Avenue, and a couple blocks on either side. Within TIF, TID district number 17, 
is the Plan Innovation District, which is currently advancing. In 2019, the city plans to acquire former Union Pacific Railroad right-of-way for a future trail. Also, to, to District Number 18 uh, was created, which is a 160-acre business park known as South Point Enterprise Campus. It is now shovel-ready. Please contact the city if you have an interest in buying and developing in this corridor. A third TID was created in 2018, TID-19, a redevelopment area that includes the condo development Water's Edge and the redevelopment sites of the former Boat Doctors and Harmony Bar. The city's redevelopment areas continue to gain value as developer interest and overall valuation increases. Over the past five years, the value of the city's TIDs have increased by 20%. The fourth focus area of the strategic plan is neighborhood revitalization. The goal of the strategic plan focus area is encouraging reinvestment of the city's housing stock, creating solid neighborhoods with strong leadership, ensuring quality new housing development, creating a new diverse and affordable option for all employees. The city's promotion of neighborhoods means getting to know your neighbors, watching out for each other, caring about their neighborhood, which is vital to the city's neighborhood revitalization effort. In 2013, the first neighborhood association was formed, the historic Gateway neighborhood. Since then, a total of nine neighborhood associations have been formed, including, just, including three just in 2018. In 2018, two Rock the Block collaborative rehabilitation efforts were held on the city's north and south sides. The city continues to be successful in obtaining federal grants to fund two neighborhood beat officers mission of these officers are to park their cars, get out, walk along the assigned neighborhoods, become familiar and get to know the neighbors, participate in neighborhood meetings to improve mutual understanding of issues that are important. Other efforts by the city departments include tree trimming and street lights maintenance and, and additions, street lights additions. In addition to the neighborhood beat officers, the city employs two part-time property maintenance officers whose goal is to improve the quality of over older neighborhoods. Such activities include notification to property owners to remove yard trash, abandoned vehicles, and weed notices. The officers also focus on building, needing maintenance, work, or even demolition. The number of housing code violations continue to be a critical enforcement activity for the city to ensure safe living conditions for housing tenants. In 2018, additional staff efforts focused on the na following neighborhoods, Swift, Sheridan, Erie Hill, and Gateway. In 2019, South Calumet, River Bend, River Watch, and South Lake will be the focus areas. Other strategic plans focus area, the fifth category is governing and fiscal management, which is implementing innov innovative and responsible policies and business practices to effectively manage its fiscal and human resources and maintaining an outstanding quality of life for our citizens. Over the past two years, the city has, has submitted its major financial documents to national associations for review and possible work considerations. In 2017, 2018, the budget did receive recognition from uh, the Government Finance <coughs> Officers Association. The city was one of, 22, one of 26 cities in Wisconsin to receive this designation. Also, the city's comprehensive annual financial report received an award, one of 30 cities in the state of Wisconsin. And finally, the popular annual financial report, an award was received in 2018. This Sheboygan was one of six cities to be recognized in Wisconsin. The city also received a certificate of distinction in performance measurement from the International City County Management Association for its second year. Only four Wisconsin communities received this award in 2018. Last, the city implemented a live transparency and benchmark center it is an invaluable municipal benchmarking intelligence to help the city of Sheboygan leaders quickly compare their finances against similar communities to make more informed and data-driven policy and budgetary decisions. Managing the city's fund balance is critical to the city's overall financial health, including its Moody's Investor Service Credit Rating. The city's fiscal policy identifies that the city should maintain a minimum of 25% of fund balance as compared to its annual expenditure levels in the city's largest fund, its general fund, which is its operating budget. In the past five years, the fund balance as a percent has been as high as 60%. In 2018, the Common Council decided to use $5 million of its fund balance to pay cash 
for almost half of the city's cost for renovating City Hall. As a result, the fund balance percent declined from 60% to 40%. <clears throat> the city's goal is also to maintain its debt level at no more than 60% of its state allowed debt. At the end of 2018, the city had 44 million or 31% of its state allowed debt. In 2018, the city's bond rating by Moody's Investor Service was reaffirmed as AA2, which is a strong rating for municipalities. The sixth and last focus area of the strategic plan is communication. The city continues to look for opportunities to improve and be proactive in its communication with its residents, businesses, and its po property owners. In 2018, the city created monthly community e-newsletters and asked for additional input from its residents via a community survey. Already in 2018, I've created a communication task force to review its existing methods of communicating with its city employees as well as the community. The goal is to enhance its communication and transparency. The task force includes not only city staff, but community partners from Acuity, Johnsonville, Kohler Company, and Lakeland University. In addition to the city's website, the city uses social media to share information with the public. From 2017 to 2018, the city experienced over 100% increase in activity associated with Facebook, Twitter, Nextdoor, and Nextdoor. I want to thank you, the Common Council, for allowing me time to share with you information about the city's successful 2018 activities in the State of the City Address. The city has many new and exciting in initiatives already for 2019. I look forward to giving you an update in one year as the city's outlook continues to be very favorable. Thank you. Thank you very much for that presentation. Next, we'll go on to public forum. There is no one this evening. Thank you. And then mayor's announcements. I'd like to ask Mike Romas to join me at the podium. Mike Romas has served the city of Sheboygan for the last five years as fire chief. He came to us from the City of Milwaukee's Fire Department, and he brought many attributes to the position. Leadership, professionalism, aptitude, enthusiasm, and he uh, also had good communication skills, attention to detail, fairness, high energy, and above average performance. Uh, in Milwaukee, Mike uh, was, managed the on-duty paramedic training program. Uh, <clears throat> He was member of a th three senior management strategic planning committee. As deputy chief of administration, he also worked to resolve citizen complaints and had 100% compliance, served on management negotiations, and developed and implemented uh, company officer management program. In Sheboygan, Mike brought all these attributes to this job and did an excellent job for us. Mike developed a plan to replace uh, the ambulances in the department. Um, he was kind of caught in a little bit of a budget pinch because our ambulances were all purchased at the same time and we just couldn't afford to replace all of them at the same time. So we had to put a phased program in. And um, when asked uh, that to be funded, he had to even go further and look at a way to uh, use what they call a chassis replacement program, keeping the same cabs but putting new, new chassis on them. But they got the job done and our ambulances are running fine and uh, we've got to have a better phase program for the future, which he's outlined. Under Mike's direction, all the fire stations were evaluated to have necessary repairs and remodeling completed. And the last station is station number one, which will be completed later this year. Mike worked with the City Council and the fire consultants at Fitch to complete the Fire Department Operations Review and acted quickly uh, to implement the recommendations of that plan. Uh, recently, the department accepted delivery of a new platform ladder truck, another long-time goal, and a piece of equipment that needed to be replaced. 
Mike also advocated uh, to ban the use of sky lanterns in our city to make our city a little bit safer and, uh, and avoid uh, unnecessary fires. Mike also served as the Civic Training Grant Coordinator for the City of Sheboygan. But more than that, he was involved in our community. So many times uh, Mike has taken the opportunity to uh, cook food for an event, chili cook-offs, and also have the public come to the fire department for a, uh, for a cancer fundraiser where the volunteers served award-winning firehouse chili uh, to those that came in. And Chad might uh, disagree a little bit with his abilities in the kitchen, but th they had a great face-off all the time. Uh, Mike and his wife Melanie also made a visit to our sister city in Esslingen, Germany, and they were part of the Sheboygan delegation. And some of you may remember about seven years ago, the fire department from Esslingen came over, and they received Mike with open arms and treated him like a king while he was there. And he really enjoyed the, uh, the tour that they gave him. Mike Romus will be missed. I want to thank Mike for all the great work that he and his department performed, uh, performed during the last five years. I can remember one evening when there was a roof fire at NEMAC, a fire on uh, a house on, on North Avenue, and also a car that uh, was on fire. The department performed well that evening, taking care of all these events and everything else that came their way during Mike's tenure. So I'm very proud to present Michael Romus the Certificate of Appreciation and Recognition of five years of dedicated service from February 24th of 2014 through March 1st of 2019. Mike, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mayor. Um, I'll be brief. Um, last couple weeks, I've said my goodbyes to everyone, my staff, my department, uh, the other department heads, and uh, I'm in this venue right now, and I want to say thank you to uh, a group of individuals and to two other individuals. Number one, Mayor Vandersteen. Um, you can't say no to Mike. Can't, can't do it. So I got involved in... Uh, um, uh, the Big Brother Big Sister program Mike asked me to do that as a community leader and I did and I had a little uh, lunch buddy for four years thanks to Mike he he made that happen and it was a wonderful experience for both of us and I just ended that relationship with him but it's it was very positive and it was a great thing Mike knows everybody he knows how to get things done I've seen him at work and he's amazing so that's I want to say thank you to you mayor and Administrator Hoffland, um, I want to say thank you to you for your leadership and for everything that you've done for this city and the changes that we're making and all the things that have happened in my department in the last, you know, three years since you've been here. Um, just out amazing things that are getting done. And that's helping set us up for the future and it's, we're going to succeed. Our department's going to be better tomorrow than it is today and yesterday because of your leadership. So thank you. Last but not least, the council. Um, I've been here for five years. There's two things I know for sure. Number one, everybody that's on this council is dedicated to the citizens of Sheboygan. There's no doubt. It's impossible not to be. And you, you take your jobs personally, and you do them. It matters, and I can tell. And the other thing is you expect the best. You expect the best out of all of us. And then the department heads know that. I mean, you've held us accountable for everything all the time, and that's a good thing. But because of your leadership, things have changed. We're, we're heading in a positive direction. I know from my department, I can speak of, um, it's just amazing the things that we have accomplished and that you've given us permission uh, and the money and things to do. You expect that high level? It's in my head all the time when I was chief, how much is this going to cost? What's the best thing for the citizens? That was always our final decision maker and my staff or whenever decisions were made or what's in the best interest for the citizens and how can we do this in the best fiscal way? And that's because of you. So I want to thank all of you for all of your dedication and hard work. It's been, a, it's been unbelievable for me to be here. Uh, it was an honor and a privilege. Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, earlier today, we accepted resignation from Rosemary Trester. I'd just like to remind residents that um, at the March 18th meeting, um, we will be electing a new alder person to serve uh, the 4th District. Anyone who's interested can get a letter of intent and a brief resume to uh, City Clerk Meredith DeBruin, and those are due by noon on uh, this Friday if you're interested. Um, We've got a few events coming up, one at Maywood, the 33rd Annual Flapjack Day will be coming up on March 17th, uh, pancake breakfast from 9.30 to 12.30, and it's an all-you-can-eat pancake breakfast, and they'll have activities from 10 o'clock until 1. And also on that day, that's St. Patrick's Day, so I hope everybody has a great time being Irish for a day. Um, and then uh, we have a little bit of an announcement and a change of the meeting for the Historic Preservation Commission. It was originally scheduled for tomorrow, March 5th, and that's been canceled. And it's going to be rescheduled for Tuesday, March 19th at 4.30, and the meeting will be at the Senior Activity Center. The purpose for the meeting is to hold a public hearing related to the demolition of the Sheboygan Armory and determine if the armory is a pre pre preferably preserved significant building. And then uh, I also like to remind you that it's 91 days until we'll move back into City Hall for our June 3rd City Council meeting. Thank you. Okay, next we have a hearing. Item 2.1 is the hearing number 8 of 1819 pursuant to a notice published in the personal notices sent out by the city clerk there is a hearing scheduled this evening uh, for the proposed assessments for the water lateral replacements in north avenue from north 15th street to north 21st street is there anyone wishing to be heard is there anyone wishing to be heard is there anyone wishing to be heard alder person wolf thank you mayor i make a motion to close Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to the consent agenda. That'll include items 3.2 through 3.9. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all RCs, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. <coughs> Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on any items in the consent agenda? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Eight eyes. Motion passes. Under reports of officers, item 4.1 and 4.2 will be referred to various committees. Under resolutions, item 5.1 is resolution number 179 of 1819 by all the persons Wolf and Donahue, authorizing the appropriate city officials to sign the January 1st, 2018 through December 31st of 2020 uh, contract between the City of Sheboygan and the International Association of Firefighters Local 483. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to suspend. Second. Is there any objection to suspension? Please proceed. I'd like to make a motion to pass the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Resolution is before you. Is there any discussion? Alderperson Bourne. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I wanted to ask our HR director that when everything was said and done with this new contract, and I did did read it, and it's I have to say it's very, very thorough. I don't think it leaves many, any stone uncovered. But I, I just wanted to ask at the end of the day if our HR director could give us some, uh, I guess, some benefits from the city's viewpoint on what we gained in this contract. Turn it over to Sandy Rourke. The primary gain is the clarification of language, permissive subjects. Many, many <coughs> permissive subjects were taken out, which makes uh, management of daily activities a lot easier. So uh, that was the primary gain. This is also a three-year contract, um, allowing for a little bit more flex time in between. We, have, we 
for some reason a couple of years ago we put them all at the same time frame and that makes it difficult to negotiate all contracts so this is the, the longest the three-year contract thank you any other discussion seeing none or the clerk please call the roll Eight eyes. Motion passes. Items 5.2 through 5.8 will be referred to various committees. Under reports of committees, item 6.1 is RC number 261 of 1819, public from the Public Works Committee to whom is referred resolution number 176 of 1819 by all the persons Wolf and Sorensen authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2019 budget for traffic signal upgrades and recommend approving the resolution. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and adopt and pass resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk call the roll? Eight eyes. Motion passes. Item 6.2 is RC number 262 of 1819 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred the direct referral resolution number 177 of 1819 by Alder Persons Ryan Fleisch and Bourne authorizing entering into a letter of agreement with Grafe USA Inc. for professional planning services and recommends approving the resolution with updated contracts. Alder Person Ryan Fleisch. I move to accept and adopt and pass the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk call the roll? Eight eyes. Motion passes. Item 6.3 is RC number 265 of 1819 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred General Ordinance number 42 of 1819 <coughs> by Elder Persons Ryan Fleisch and Bourne, amending section 82-33 of the Sheboygan Municipal Code as to modify the City Administrator's Department Table of Organization and recommends approving the ordinance with the updated job description. Elder Person Ryan Fleisch. I move to accept and adopt the report of the committee to pass the ordinance with the updated job descriptions provided to the council this evening in writing and to request the clerk attach the updated job descriptions to the ordinance. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eight eyes. Motion passes. Item 6.4 is RC number 266 of 1819 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred General Ordinance number 43 of 1819 by Alder Persons Ryan Fleisch and Bourne, amending section 82-33 of the Sheboygan Municipal Code is to modify the Senior Activity Center Table of Organization and recommends approving the ordinance with an updated job description. Alder Person Ryan Fleisch. I move to accept and adopt the report of committee to pass the ordinance with the updated job descriptions provided to the council this evening in writing and to request the clerk attach the updated job descriptions to the ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eight eyes. Motion passes. Item 6.5 is RC number 263 of 1819 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred General Ordinance number 44 of 1819 by Alder Persons Ryan Fleisch and Bourne, amending section 82-33 of the Sheboygan Municipal Code as to modify the city 
Development Department slash Building Inspector Division Table of Organization and recommends approving the ordinance. Alderperson Rindfleisch. I move to accept and adopt and pass the ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eight ayes. Motion passes. Item 6.6 .6 is RC number 270, uh, 267 of 1819 by the Finance and Personnel Committee. To whom is referred General Ordinance number 46 of 1819 by Alderperson Reinfleisch and Born, recommending that Section 82 33 of the Sheboygan Municipal Code, as to modify the Department of Finance Table of Organization, recommends approving the ordinance with the updated job description. Alderperson Reinfleisch. Move to accept and adopt and pass the ordinance. Sir. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eight ayes. Motion passes. Under general ordinances, item 7.1 will be referred to the City Planning Commission. Other matters received after the agenda was published. I'll turn that over to City Attorney Adams. That will be referred to the Licensing Hearings and Public Safety Committee. Next, we have a contemplated closed session. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to convene in closed session under the exemption contained in section 18.85 sub 1 sub e, Wisconsin stats, for competitive uh, or bargaining reasons require a closed session related to possible purchase of land in the South Point Enterprise Campus. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Will the clerk please call the roll? Eight ayes. Motion passes. Uh, for the people watching on TV, we'll be adjourning in closed session, so this will end our transmission uh, for tonight. Thank you very much. We'll take a short break of about three minutes and reconvene. <laughs>